in my video this morning. Um, I had a really strong pull to Scorpio this morning and I don't know if maybe you guys are going through similar crap that Aquarius has been going through. But I just got a real pull for you um, that some you guys had some major stuff happen. So I got to work. I ended up talking to, um, I was talking to my coworker and the phone rings and it was a random resident I hadn't talked to before and she said, um, she said, um, hi, I, I really feel uncomfortable. I needed to call you. Um, has somebody been in my apartment? And she goes, um, and the weird thing was I was talking with my coworker about, you know, spirits and things in my, my new video this morning. And she's kind of like on the fence about it, which is whatever. But um, I was talking to her about it and she, this phone rings and this lady goes, I think my apartment's haunted. Which I just thought was really funny, just the context of what my and my coworker's conversation had been thus far. And so I said, well, you're calling the right person <laughs> if it is haunted. Um, she goes, yeah, it's probably just my father. You know, no worries. Hangs up on me. So I told Christina, my coworker, and she just thought it was really funny. And she goes, oh, what a coincidence. And I said, no, like a lot of weird stuff like that happens around me. So you'll you'll learn that. But she uh, she then said, well, well, that's odd. And we were doing paperwork. And she goes, I put... Um, I put the date 5-13-15 instead of 18. And I said, so what happened to you on 5-13-15? And she goes, what? And she ends up thinking about it and realizes that her best friend, um, when in 2015, had passed away that day. Um, turns out that's why she doesn't really like her birthday because it's close to that date. Um, so I said, see, I, I told, like, I told you I do this professionally, right? And she says, she says, yeah, that's, that's really weird that, you know, you brought it up. Um, so we're talking about her friend. She's telling me the story of how he passed and, you know, how much it hurt her. And the phone rings again. This time when the phone rings, it is the, uh, police department. Um, it's an officer on the phone and he says, um, hi, one of, your residence and apartment yada yada has passed away and I said what and they said yeah about an hour ago this person passed away we need their um, you know their birth information stuff like that um, I get off the phone to go meet the officer and me and my co-worker she's just staring at me stunned um, and I said, I, I told you, like, weird stuff's going to start happening if you're around me. So I just got death, 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 death. And um, this morning when I was thinking about Scorpio, when I think about death or new beginnings or rebirths or new cycles, I think Scorpio. So I thought you guys definitely ran the day today and something serious is going on. And I, I don't know what it is, but I felt a real pull towards towards um, seeing what's going on with Scorpio and I know you guys are nosy anyway so um, I thought I'd do a slight reading of just kind of like energy going around Scorpio right now um, just gonna pull a couple cards kind of see um, where you guys are at um, I'm gonna pull the first card um, top card is gonna be your overall energy um, I'll show them to you because I don't have like a very big area right now um, and just kind of see like you know what um, overall ending outcome we're looking at. Um, so let's see. So we have the King of Pentacles. That's a very good card actually. Um, this may be in the past. Um, we have your overall energy, which is the Eight of Pentacles. So you can see my cat cards. I think they're freaking hilarious. Um, just all these cats. We have the Chariot. That's a good one, too. I actually really like this. This is similar to what's going on with Aquarius right now. We have the Three of Wands in reverse. Um, we also have the Queen of Wands reverse. Getting a very um, interesting vibe with those two. Um, King of Chalice is reversed. And then three of pentacles reversed. This bottom line is completely different from the top line. Um, overall energy, the hermit. Okay. So I'm getting a lot of uh, 
The King of Pentacles is um, obviously somebody who's very, very smart with their money. Um, they're smart with their money. Um, they understand how finance works. They understand how to be resourceful with their money and how to allocate it correctly. Um, King of Pentacles is very mature, um, very grounded energy. So this may be, um, usually it represents some form of earth sign, somebody that's earth energy around you, but it's very grounded. Um, so this is definitely either you or somebody at your work or a partner. Um, very responsible and resourceful and abundant. Like this is the king. He has all, he has all the coins. Um, the next thing I see, I'm actually kind of bouncing around here is the queen of wands in reverse. So this could be you or this could be somebody surrounding your energy. Queen, the queen of wands in reverse. Um, queen of wands knows, knows what she wants. All queens do. Um, However, the person that you're dealing with wasn't in this in this Empress Queen of Wands energy. Um, it's a very the Queen of Wands is very direct, knows how to communicate effectively. Um, this other person in this energy could be a feminine energy, more feminine, and I don't mean that by it could be a man or a woman. I mean like the general energy is feminine. Um, is not um, speaking their truth. They're not saying their truth, and they're not um, being one hundred percent maybe honest with you. Um, you know, the king is, this guy's probably the most, I feel like the, I mean, other than the king of swords, like he's very direct and very mature and very logical. Um, he understands how to keep all those coins in his hand. Um, the queen of wands in reverse is not, um, not communicating. So what, what's happening and what I'm seeing, and I don't know if this is that big shift today. So I'm seeing this more as like a relationship reading. Um, I see the chariot. So this is, I believe, for the Scorpio. Um, this is the chariot. So maybe you guys... Chariot is a very good forward-moving um, energy. I feel like you guys dealt with the Queen of Wands. Um, you dealt with this reversed queen for a long time who wasn't communicating, who wasn't being forthcoming, who was being kind of um, elusive with what their... Um, Maybe what their motives or the truth was. Um, but I see it definitely like it's a moving away from it. Are you moving from that person? Um, I feel like in some way you're taking forward movement. So whether you are in this relationship or um, whatever kind of relationship it was, you're definitely one, moving onward, moving upward. Um, I see that you actively made the decision to do that. And that's what kind of cuts off this card here, which I think is hilarious. This is the king of chalices. So the king of chalices, um, I think you can see it's upside down, um, king of cups. So cups are emotion. Um, they can be abundance, emotional fulfillment, things like that. Um, this other person, um, I mean, was not, um, emotionally fulfill, not emotionally fulfilling you, but also, um, not being emotionally available not being emotionally open, um, not not speaking their entire truth or communicating effectively with the wands that what their true feelings were. So, um, they just don't know how to, you're taking the opposite of a king here, which I would say is almost a page, but you're taking the opposite of a king and, and you're, you're flipping it upside down. So, um, I definitely feel like a lot of sadness with this card. Um, so maybe this person could be regretting it right now. Um, regretting, um, maybe they were immature, um, it's kind of what I see here is like you actively made a decision to do something and you did some shit and now um, they could be regretting it. Uh, next move I see on the part of Scorpio. Hmm. Is a three of wands. So threes are um, typically these are sorts of threes. Threes come in interesting things. Threes are um, they're moving through the cycle, but usually three of swords, three of anything. There's some sort of 30, third party situation or there's some sort of um, confliction um, in decision making. What I see with the three of wands in reverse is that you're kind of cutting somebody out. And what from what I can see here is that you've cut off communication with this negative 
because it literally is a yin and a yang effect. Um, maybe you're vibrating very high, you're being very successful right now and they just can't keep up with you. Um, they're being kind of deceitful or just dishonest with you. I see a lot of you just like, this is actually a positive card. I feel like you cut off, like maybe they cut off communication initially. Um, they, uh, they certainly weren't communicating with you before, but to me, I see this more, I feel it as more of an active decision on your part to cut them out and keep, keep on trucking. So, um, maybe you decided to, um, I don't know, because here we have this too for them. This is in reversed. So we have you, you cut them out. And then we also have the three of pentacles in reverse. So you got threes and threes. <laughs> um, Three of Pentacles could have to do a lot with finances. There's a reason with finances, but maybe they weren't making them enough money or making as much as you were. Um, I see you cutting them out and maybe you're cutting them out financially as well. And Scorpios, you do that a lot. You, I don't know. You want a partner that can stand on their own two feet. So um, I definitely feel like you cut them out is for a good reason. And now they're also feeling, um, they're also feeling a financial impact too. Um, I don't know if this just happened now or what it was. Um, I just see a lot of just complete yin yang polarity. I feel like um, I feel like this is definitely Scorpio's energy. Um, very positive. It's it's like a positive change, and I feel like I've I've gone through this exact same thing myself. Um, where they stand overall is the um, the hermit. So it was actually this in reverse no it's not so you're thinking about things um the hermit's a really good teacher um they might go into it maybe this has been like an off, on again off again relationship they might go into this thinking okay now i have to like start all over i need to reevaluate a lot of things i need to learn a lot of shit um you cutting them out and leaving them is teaching them a lot of shit um basically they're gonna have to kind of hide away, lick some wounds for a little bit, and um, figure out how to kind of move forward. Um, but I also see what, for you, what this does moving forward is your ending energy here is the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like you're getting to a really good place of, you're starting, like you have the Pentacles, um, you have eight, you're not at a 10 yet, but I feel like this moving towards eight gets you closer to nine to 10. So I feel like you're gonna start getting a lot more resources, um, a lot more success, so definitely with the finances, because you have coins, 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 and then it's like this person has uh, no communication, they're, they've been iced out, uh, they're emotionally drained, and um, monetarily they've, they've got very little funds, it looks like. Um, so they're kind of going into here, and, and honestly it's, I don't like to say say blame or say fault, but it looks like it's their own fault. It looks like they got what's come into them um, and that you played them back. You played them, oh, okay, you've done this to me this long. Th this is what you get for it, and I'm going to, you know, bring down the hammer. Um, the Eight of Pentacles here, I feel like it's really good. It looks like you're just collecting. Like, you're just going to have shit roll in. Um, I actually get, I've gotten a lot of the similar cards for Aquarius. You're getting a lot of shit that's rolling in. And um, you should feel very good about that. Um, moving forward, maybe the action you should take right now. It looks like what you're doing is good. And if it's with your, like, if it's with your job or your career, you're, like, throwing yourself back into passion. Because here I see a lot of just, like, lack of passion. You're, you're lacking passion. Um, you, you know, you... You offered something to somebody who decided that they were going to play games. And, um it just drained you we're fixed signs we want to know like I don't I don't beat around the bush I may I may have my fun for a while and play but like if I like somebody I like somebody and if I want to know if you like me I just want to know and I want to feel comfortable in that I don't need wishy-washiness I don't need I'm fixed like yeah it either is or it isn't if it isn't a uh, GTFO like <laughs> I don't care um it, we're kind of uh equally the god complexes of the of the zodiac and rightfully so so um for them wow reverses moving forward okay so i see like a moving forward for you like i said it's lack of passion you have the sun sign 
Um, a lot of this is going to be focusing on you now. Um, there's no reason this can't get turned back up. And the reason why it can is because you're no longer going to have this shit dragging you down. Um, this person can kind of sit and sulk and think about what they did. But um, once you go back into the sun, you go back into passion. You go Leo, like Leo is very, very passionate very, very passionate. It's their card. Um, you become the star again. So I feel like this is a lot of focusing, not focusing just on you, but things that you really cared about before. You really cared about before and you're focusing too much on this bullshit that you didn't get to do what you wanted. So overall, I think it's very, very, very positive. Um, and six in reverse, uh, I don't like, I like to say very hopeful in situations, six in reverse. Um, I don't know. This is up to them if they can change. So, you know, fives are changes. Um, I don't, I don't know. Maybe they can't change, but, um, they're certainly thinking about it. So, um, that may be along the line. I feel like if you guys are waiting for offers, I don't know if you're waiting for an offer. You really want to consider getting back together with this person, um, being involved with this person. I feel like that for the offer card, maybe it's the devil's not a bad card. This is not a bad card. I don't care. Everybody hates the devil. You see two chain things or two chain things together. The devil also means endings. Um, endings of old cycles. So whether this means that it is an end of a cycle and they come back in and decide that, you know, I am changed. I am ready to be what, you know, I need you to be. Um, that could be the end of a cycle. It could also be the end of the relationship. Maybe you just decide like, you know, too much shit has been done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and walk away now and have my son and have my eight of pentacles and have my king. And like, it's just everything. You know what I mean? It's just like moving on and moving up. So feel very good for you guys. Feel like something definitely crazy shifted happened today. But um, I hope you have a great rest of the 13th. Um, I know the moon in Scorpio really kind of knocked everybody around a little bit. So um, I hope that helped some of you. If it did, please leave me a comment or subscribe or share. Um, I just randomly felt to pull towards Scorpio. I have mad love for you guys. So um, yeah, you guys enjoy the rest of your Mother's Day. We'll talk soon. Bye.